Anagriff or 3D images are similar to the ones you've seen in magazines and comics and now Avatar with the movies. You will also need a pair of red and blue 3D glasses in order to enjoy these images. You can achieve this effect with GIMP. Normally you would need two images but in this case we'll only use the one and normally the, the images are slightly apart and when you do the slightly apart you need uh, uh, two cameras which you can mount on uh, well yes you can need two cameras like this one here and you can mount it on a stick they're two cheap cameras and about eye, witness, eye, eye width apart and you take one image with one and then one with the other and then load them into GIMP and from there GIMP will using the filter which will I display there um, the filter you can download or the plugin and you can make an anagriff that way but we'll show you the other way as well so I'll open up uh, GIMP and load the two images to show the uh, the effect you load image number one and then image the next one as a layer and that's number four right hand side that's the camera the right hand side camera then you go to this plugin after it's loaded and does it in a couple of steps quite quick and simple you click on the stereo effect after you download the amagriff and the plugin and you click on there and it brings up a script with this two colors chosen and you just hit OK There's no, you can place a name in there if you want to name it and you click OK and it does all the job for you nice and quick and there's the anagriff on that effect you just merge the two layers down and that completes the task but that's using the two camera effect now I, I stated I was going to use just the one so I'll close that one off don't save go to file and open a recent one which is a little girl with a going to burst a bubble with a finger this one here will, I will make its own two, di two dimensional image now we click a duplicate the layer we need to duplicate the layer because we've got to use the bottom one later on now we go to select and select all and that selects everything around that photograph everything's been selected then we go to edit and we ask it to copy then we go back to edit once again once it's copied it and click on paste and that gives me a floating uh, pasted layer now I go to my uh, layers dialog up here the channels click on the channels click on number red the red one and move over the, the uh, move tool and just click into the center of the photograph and move it slightly to the right very slightly not too much that's roughly about right now we go back to the normal uh, dialog ch uh, layer channel and we right click on there and anchor the layer now that anchors that layer on top of the other one now we go to layers and we add a layer mask there's a reason for doing this because it needs to be white full opacity because in most 3D images you, when it's like looking at something you have a focal point and the focal point in this part, part here is her hand and the fingers and the, and the bubble so we go to our paintbrush tool we're going to erase that previous um, we'll just enlarge that slightly and just erase that around there remove that moved layer color and all inside the ball as well in the bubble just remove all that around there just take, be careful with the hair hairline and you know especially a bit about the eye now we come down to a finger we let that go there's a bit more there we come down to the finger and remove the coloring around the finger because these are the focal points when you put your glasses on 
the uh, the red and the and the blue will will give you the 3D effect, and what's not uh, in any colour appears to jump out at the screen, which is the full 3D anagriff format. And that should do it. You can do a bit of a sleeve as well, and that's it. And we just go up and uh, we we can click on there and merge down. That merges the two layers together, and that's your anagriff. You just put your glasses on now, and you've got the 3D effect. Quite simple to do with GIMP, but you need to do that uh, focal point, which takes it out. You can you, you can do it the other way with just the uh, just the two layers and and have a look at the effect. It still gives you a slightly 3D effect, but not as much as this one. And when you save, you just save it as normal. You can save it as a JPEG. Just save it as, and you choose the name and so on. You just don't overwrite the original. Just change the name and save. Well, thank you for watching. Rate the video, and visit my channel, and you will find a link to my website where you can get uh, printout instructions on how to do this. If you can't follow the uh, if you can't follow the instructions on the screen.